Hello, good day. I welcome you all to our Scala Nursing Session 3 for the PNLE options. So after the Session 2, uh, talking about the PNLE questions, it's very essential for us no, to learn now about the PNLE options. So we have divided the topics, I mean, the discussion on PNLE questions and the PNLE options so that we would be able to master, okay, trying to understand PNLE questions separately and options separately for us to be more effective in finding the right answer to every question that is thrown to us, okay? So, why is it important for us no, um, to understand everything here? Because, you know what? PNLE options are the key towards your PNLE success. If our questions po, ang ating mga questions, they are the building blocks to the PNLE success. Well, the PNLE options, they are the key towards the PNLE success. Okay? So after we have a well and a very good foundation of, of understanding the question, it's very important now for us to understand kung ano nga ba yung naibibigay sa mga options. Okay? So generally, for non-SATA question, you need to remember that a taker has always this 25% of getting the right answer. So, my students has been telling me, Sir, napakahirap po because talagang totally po, hindi, hindi po namin alam. Wala po kaming knowledge sa mga naitanong sa board exam namin and even sa mga exams namin in the nursing school. Well, I've, I've always been telling them, sabi ko that, you know what? A taker has always 25% of getting the right answer. Because you are, you are given, for Nansata question, ha, you are given four options to answer. Okay, so you say, for example, uh, here, I will be laying down to you, um, class, only options, no question. Okay? For us to more understand everything. Okay, so letter A, hypertension. Letter B, angioedema. Letter C, hyp hypotension. Letter D, pruritus. So, you have four options. And you have always 25% from the very beginning. You do not start at zero, okay? You have 25% uh, of getting the right answer or the correct answer in every, questions that, if, in every question that's given to you, okay? So why bother yourself, sir? Napakahirap. Yes, totally um, or generally, let's say, PNLE is... I mean, the, the stigma or, or, or the mental model of every student is that PNLE is so hard. Well, there is no easy thing in this world. And the easiest way to, to, to have your success in your PNLE is, of course, to prepare for it. And in your preparation, uh, students and takers have always been putting the burden on themselves. Okay? So... Let's put the burden on the PNL itself and try to understand everything. Okay? So now, why is it important? Okay? Or why is understanding PNL options important? Okay? So firstly, to know that questions are congruent with one or more of the options available. You know what? Hindi po magtatanong ang board examiners, ang board of nursing, ng mga uh, tanong, okay, na hindi or wala yung sagot sa options. So, my students has always been telling me uh, whenever I give them examination, sabi nila, sir, but parang wala dito yung sagot. You know what? When you are given an examination, especially when you're already sitting down in your PNLE, halimbawa nasa board exam ka na, wala kang ibang gagawin but to, to give the, the most or, or, the, or the nearest answer to the question that's given to you. Okay? So, there's always the best answer. There's always the outstanding option that's present in your options, okay, in the among the choices. And you are left without any other choice but to answer it, okay? So, yun dapat ang iisipin natin, okay? To know that questions are congruent with one or more of the options available. Bakit sinabing or more? Kasi we have SATA options, okay? But generally, ang question po, meron siyang uh, congruent answer that's available in the options. Okay, letter uh, number two. To minimize long duration of time spent on each, on each question. You know what? Uh, dito, uh, 
the burden or the problem of students is that nagtatagal sila sa every question. Bakit ganon? It's because they really uh, put some effort, put some time of understanding some questions. Minsan na hindi naman nila talaga napag-aralan o hindi nila na-encounter from the very beginning. Okay? So, you need to, there's an art and there's a science, okay? In this color nursing, we're teaching that there's an art, there's a science of, of trying to answer questions na hindi mo talaga na-encounter, okay? So, there's an art on that. Another, to avoid over-rationalization. Why? Because our students and our takers always tend, this is very common, always tend to, what if, what if the patient is ganito? What if the patient is ganyan? And that is now over-rationalization. Okay? At hindi po maganda ang over-rationalization. When you try to over-rationalize everything, you are thinking something that's outside the box. Okay? You are not just lying on what's given. Of course, you need to be critical. Okay? You need to think of, of hidden things or um, covert cues, especially those covert cues. But do not over-rationalize. Iba po ang over-rationalization sa critical thinking. Okay? Another is to properly eliminate extraneous or unnecessary options. Marami pong unnecessary options that you will be learning um, as we go along with this discussion, as we, with this session. So you need to eliminate extraneous or unnecessary options so that mas clearer po ang pathway natin towards the correct answer. Okay? And then, of course, lastly, our ultimate goal, to answer questions more efficiently. Okay? So yan ang ating... Uh, mga important points, why it's very essential for us to understand the options. Okay, now, what are the types of options? Okay, ito na yung types of options na itinuturo natin, dito lang yan sa ENR. Okay, so unang-una, we have your identical options. So, when we say identical options, sila po yung mga uh, options na nasa letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D, na pareho. Okay, and you need to remember that in our examination, hindi pwedeng dalawa yung tamang sagot. Okay? If that is a uh, simply um, multiple choice exam, uh, except for SATA. Okay? Now, for the multiple choice exam or the simple type of examination or question, okay, you need to remember that there can be no more than one correct answer. Okay? So, that's what we call as your identical options. So, kapag nakakita ka ng identical options in your um exam, automatically, you need to remember that both are wrong. So what I'm trying to say is that your BON, your, your, your examiner is just trying to make synonyms, okay? Dalawa yung inilagay sa options, pero pareho naman sila na meaning. Okay? Mamaya, I will be giving you some examples on that. Pangalawa, incompatible or extreme options. Okay? So kapag may incompatible or extreme options, okay? There is the correct answer, no? Ang correct, ang tamang sagot po ay nasa dalawa lang. Okay? So, kapag sinabi natin incompatible, sila yung nag-aaway. Okay? Sila yung incompatible, extreme, magkabilang mundong options. Okay? So, either of the two. Okay? Nasa dalawa yan. Okay? Nandyan sa kanila ang tamang sagot. Okay. Number three. Unsafe or dangerous options. Okay? Kapag sinabi po natin dangerous options, okay, ito na yung mga... We need to remember this. Um, we need to remember these things. Why? Because they are very dangerous. And whenever you you were able to encounter them in your options, you need to eliminate them. Bakit they are most of the time, but not all the time, ah, incorrect options or incorrect answer. Okay. So you need to take note of these words because they are actually extraneous. Kaya sinasabi ko kanina, it's very important for us to understand what are your type of options so that we would be able to eliminate them. Okay. Another, we have your umbrella options. Kapag sinabi natin umbrella options, they are the correct answer. You need to remember that. Um, this is from the very beginning in your theoretical foundations of nursing, everything that's on top and if all the other options or all the other concepts is just dependent to that one, that is the correct answer. Okay? So, you need to remember that. Another is, of course, your SATA options. Now, I have, I, I was able to say it in my previous discussions that your SATA options or your SATA is just actually a true or false uh, type of question. And that's true. 
you need to remember that SATA or select all that apply uh, manner of questions or types of questions is just actually a true or false question approach. Okay? So later on, I will be giving you some example of that. So again, we have some enumerated here types of options. First, we, firstly, we have your identical options. Next is your incompatible options or your extreme options. Another is your unsafe or dangerous options. And then your umbrella options and then your SATA options. Okay? Now, let's try to have an example here. Now, this is one... Uh, this is an example of your identical options. So, walang question. Again, there's no question here. All we have here is our options. Again, we will be having a separate discussion or a session four for the combination already of your questions and your options in the PNLE. Okay, so first, letter A, excessive vomiting. Letter B, rapid fundal height growth. Letter C, hyperinesis gravidarum. Letter D, sharp abdominal pain. So, you need to remember that uh, whenever you are asked, actually, you should already have a hint. So, basically here, alam na natin na ang tanong dito is obstetrics, no? Nasa maternal and child nursing concept. Because nandyan yung excessive vomiting, hyperemesis gravidarum, rapid fundal height growth, sharp abdominal pain. So, yan. That's the art now. Because we know what type of question is there without the question itself. Okay? So, ganun po. Ganun po ang gusto nating manyari. Now, we're given four options, and among the options, meron po tayo dyang identical options. Ibig sabihin, pareho sila ng meaning. And that's what we call as your excessive vomiting is just the same as your hyperemesis gravidarum. And they are identical options. So whenever you have your identical options, as I've said a while ago, kanina, okay, they are automatically incorrect options. Ibig sabihin, you need to eliminate them, okay, because we can't have two correct answer in each question. So, from 25% uh, chance of getting the right answer, so we have eliminated 25%, another 25%, so we now have 50% of chance of getting the right answer, okay? So, between rapid fundal height growth and sharp abdominal pain, uh, if the question is there, then it's easier for us, okay? So, that's the art now, okay? Again, you can have identical options in every question. Okay, next. Another is your e e incompatible options, okay? We have here an example. Hypertension, pruritus, swelling, hypotension. Again, letter A, hypertension. Letter B, pruritus. Letter C, swelling. Letter D, hypotension. Again, when we say incompatible options, they are those options that are extreme with each other or not compatible in the very, from the very beginning. So, ibig sabihin, hindi po sila nagtutugma. Okay? They are opposite. Okay? So, here, trying to enumerate your uh, options here, we know that we have A, hypertension, letter D, hypotension as your incompatible option for these options. Okay? So, now, what's the gist? So, when you have your incompatible options, automatically, either of the two, no? Nasa sa kanila po, no? Uh, ang tamang sagot. We need to remember that one. Okay? Why? Because the examiner is trying now to test your knowledge on what really is the cue based on the current situation or current condition of your patient. So, ganyan po. Okay? Again, Kapag may incompatible options po tayo, nasa sa kanila po. Okay, nasa dalawa po yan. Okay, nasa dalawang yan na options ang tamang sagot. Okay? Ayan. Next. Another is your unsafe options. Again, when we say up, unsafe options, ito yung mga options po na may mga dangerous terms. Okay? So, letter A, it is used for all types of parasitic diseases. Letter B, it is used for helminthiasis only. Letter C, it is used as an alternative for parasitic infection. Letter D, it is used for hypertension. Okay, now, we, we need to note here, okay, that meron po tayong mga dangerous terms or unsafe terms in your letter A and letter B. So, remember that if you see this, all 
only vigorously, excessively. Okay, those are dangerous terms in your opinion, Ali. And we need to remember those things, guys. Okay, so we need to remember that these are actually dangerous terms or unsafe terms for you to choose. So most of the time, but not all the time, they are actually incorrect answers. So for this type of options, you have already eliminate, eliminated two options. So your correct answer is the battle of getting the right answer. is just between letter C and letter D. Okay, so basically this question I think is about community health nursing because it talks about parasitic diseases, helminthiasis. So that's under your uh, community health nursing and communicable diseases nursing. Okay, I am. Next, let's have your umbrella options. Okay, again, when we say umbrella option, these are your options, guys, na kung saan may isang outstanding and all the other is just reliant or under this option. Okay, so we say letter A, to make people more self-reliant. Letter B, to capacitate the community. Letter C, to exercise positive change. Letter D, to improve quality of life. Okay, ayan. So, this one is an example actually of I have a question that has a, of course, no, your umbrella option. Okay? Meron po dito ang outstanding option na yung all the rest of the other options is just under, okay, that option. Okay, so now, here is the um, model na ginagamit natin. Actually, it's not just in your PNLE. Also, guys, in your research, ginagamit din yung umbrella. Also, in your uh, community health nursing, your theoretical foundations of nursing. So, yeah. So, umbrella options, letter A, to make people self-reliant is just a, a manner or it's just something that we need to do to improve the quality of life. Okay? Letter B, to capacity community. What's the end goal? To improve the quality of life. To exercise positive change. What's the main What's the main goal? What's the end goal? To improve the quality of life. So basically, your A, B, and C, okay, are, are interventions, okay, that is contributive to letter D, which is to improve the quality of life. Okay, in your umbrella model here, your A, B, and C options is just under the letter D option. Basically, this is used in your professional adjustment questions, in your community health nursing questions. Okay? So, yeah. Also, in your leadership and management and research, and of course, no, basically, sa CHN talaga yan. So, umbrella options is very important, and it's very, uh, the challenge there is to identify, okay, what is the, what is the, top of the umbrella what's what will be on the top of the umbrella so that all the rest will be dependent to it okay so that's your umbrella options now another is your of course your sata this is a special case whenever you are asked of sata okay of sata type of question don't panic sabi nga don't panic it's organic <laughs> okay so don't panic because sata is just actually if true or false type of question. Just look at options. Okay, what we'll need to do is that count the options one by one, analyze if they are true to the questions or not, okay, then eliminate them if they needed to be eliminated. Kung hindi sila related sa question, you eliminate them. It's just a true or false type of questioning. Okay, so... Example here, A, smoking, B, allergens, letter C, stress, letter D, protein-rich diet, letter E, cold temperature, letter F, hypertension. Perhaps if you're going to check one by one, uh, basically I don't know what's the question here, but siguro it talks about asthma, what are the contributing factors of your asthma attack or what causes asthma. So if you, were, if you will check, okay, one by one, smoking, yes, allergens, yes, stress, yes. Cold temperature, yes. Protein-rich diet, not really. Hypertension, not really. Okay? So now, we know to attack each question without, I mean, to attack options or to, to get the options without even the question itself. So that's now the art here. Okay? So we need to understand 
PNLE options plainly. How are they asked? Okay, how are they written? That's it. Do not give extra meaning to each options because this will lead to over-rationalization. Okay, so read confusing options carefully and apply the top score method. So apply our sessions here, okay? And do not stress yourself on options you don't know at all. Answer it scientifically and take the next item which, item which might be easier for you to analyze. Ayan. Okay? So, do not overburden yourself on some concepts that hindi mo talaga nabasa. Okay? Just apply the top score method. And wala po tayong ibang option but to answer it. Answer the nearest option that's possible. Okay? As you think about it. Because I know you have prepared for your PNLA from the very beginning at your nursing school. Okay? So, yan. I hope and I pray that we got the gist of your session three and hope to see you guys next on our session number four.